Here now, Daniel Turner, Power, the future executive director. So, Daniel, I mean, these tactics, I think, are all crazy. But do you think they're actually working? No, not at all. And actually, I think they, they do more harm than good. But, but it's kind of standard for the environmental left. Um, they have to use theatrics and drama uh, and do these very self-absorbed actions to get people to pay attention. There was a poll just last week done by the New York Times, of all places, that showed fewer than 1% of Americans even care about climate change as a serious issue. So if you've staked your, your livelihood and your activism on climate change and no one's paying attention, you got to do something to get some interest. I think it's a really good point, and you got to do radical things to get the coverage. Um, I just wish more people, especially on the Democrat side, would, would call them out for their uh, horrible antics. But I, I find this interesting, that when you look at what the climate change folks actually want to accomplish, they want to take away my freedom, your freedom. They want to take away our freedom, and they want to give it to government, they want to give it to the elites. Um, why? Yeah, well, I mean, the climate activists uh, and their call for a climate emergency are really no different than the people we saw who used the COVID emergency to seize power, right? They shut down businesses. They told you you couldn't go to church on Sunday, right? They told you to stay home. Your kids couldn't go to school. Um, it was a huge power grab. And if you're an authoritarian, you love power. Uh, the fossil fuel industry is, is, a, is critical to our national security, our economy. But one of the things unique about it is one of the few last big industries that is in the hands of the private sector. And if you're an authoritarian, you can't allow that. You have to have it controlled by the state. And that explains a lot of the green movement, a lot of the push for renewable, quote unquote, renewable energy. Um, they want it to be controlled by the state because at their core, they're authoritarians. Right, and again, I, I get if you're an elite that, that has a lot of money that you'll be in that power center, but a lot of these people, I think they actually believe it and they don't, they don't know they're a cog in the wheel to take away their own freedom and give it to somebody else. And what it's going to bring us is food insecurity. It's going to bring us energy insecurity um, and make people's lives not better, but far worse. Well, we're already seeing that, right? And we're seeing that yeah. with what happened with the, the, the Biden energy policies, how it's driven up prices. And yes, gas has come down a little bit. Uh, and that's good. Um, it's come down because the economy is collapsing and heading into a recession. So the demand is driven up, is driven down. Um, but we see what happens when we, when we punish the fossil fuel industry. It does power our economy. It powers our agriculture, our national security. It powers the future, quite frankly. Uh, and so punishing it hasn't made America better or greener. Uh, it's made us m more poor. It's made us poor. It's made us more unsafe uh, as a nation. And so, yeah, that's what the green policies are going to usher in. And, Daniel, we, we have seen the attack on the energy industry, but I think we're just starting to now see the attack on our farms and our farming. And if you take away people's ability to eat and the government has that control over what food you get, they control you. Yeah. Absolutely. And we see that happening in countries around the world. The Dutch farmers are yeah. clearly leading the charge on this. Uh, and, and you'll probably see that happen here in the United States as well. Under the guise of caring about the earth, uh, you can confiscate land, you can confiscate livelihoods. And look, I live, I'm broadcasting from my farm here in rural Virginia, right? I own earth. I have my own land. I care about clean water, clean air. We all do. But that false binary choice they put on us to say you either care about the environment or, or you support fossil fuels, you can have both. And in America, we do have both. We have a robust fossil fuel economy and the cleanest country in the world. And we should celebrate that rather than try to persecute it. Daniel, I have 15 seconds. How do you fight back against these kind of crazies? Yeah, you got to fight back at the local level because that's where they're most powerful. Your county board that wants to go green, your governor's race that wants to go green, fight back at that level and don't let them plunge your family and your community into poverty and darkness. Great advice. Get involved. Daniel, thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.